Across the country tonight on 7 Eyewitness News, authorities are now trying to determine what caused a gunman to open fire at a Planned Parenthood in Colorado Springs. At least three people are dead, including a police officer and two civilians. Nine others were injured in this attack. The latest now from ABC's Brandy Hitt. In the small Colorado town of Hartzell, police vehicles and fire trucks surrounded a white trailer. Residents say it's the home of 57 year old Robert Lewis Deer, the man accused of a shooting spree Friday at a Planned Parenthood clinic 60 miles away in Colorado Springs. I don't know what happened to him that made him snap. That's what police want to find out as they prepare to bury one of their own. Officer Garrett Swayze, a 44 year old father of two, one of three people shot and killed by the alleged Planned Parenthood gunman. Former Olympian Nancy Kerrigan was a longtime friend of Swayze, who was an avid skater. You can't explain it, it's horrific and sad. Swayze was remembered with a moment of silence at the University of Colorado, where he worked. Police say Deer walked into the clinic and opened fire with a rifle. All units, one line has been shot. Beginning a shootout and standoff that lasted five hours. He's coming out, he's got the AK. The gunman trained his sights on Ozzy Lasano. He was looking directly in my face and he was aiming for my head. Police officers began using armored vehicles to smash through walls to rescue those huddled for cover inside. He started yelling that he was willing to give up. Just like calling out. He's going to come out with his hands up. At this service, all the victims were remembered. As police continue to investigate the motive, Planned Parenthoods across New York State have already increased security. Robert Lewis Deer remains in police custody without bail, awaiting his first court appearance Monday. Brandy hit ABC News, Colorado Springs, Colorado.